In today's video, we are going to be making the ultimate breakfast sandwich. So we all eat breakfast at some point in our life, whether it's hash browns and toast, eggs, fruit, vegetables, bacon, ham, or even French toast. Today I thought, well, why not make the ultimate breakfast sandwich, combining pretty much all those ingredients. So we are going to take French toast, and in between that, we are going to pile it with hash browns, grilled onions, avocado, a fried egg, and some awesome bacon and ham. And top all that off with maple syrup. And of course, we're not going to use any old hash brown. We're going to make our own. So after peeling and washing your potatoes, you can get like a small mandolin or greater and basically julienne all your potatoes. After you finish, it should look exactly like this. Now once you're done shredding them, you want to transfer them or even better shredding them into a bowl of water so they don't oxidize, but again, just transfer your potatoes in and you want to get as much starch out as you can. As you can see it's all becoming foggy. So you're going to be doing this, let it, let it sit for a bit, change the water until it becomes clear. So now that the potatoes are done, they're soaking in the water, I've changed the water, they're still getting that starch out. We'll fry them soon, but first off, we might as well start off on the bacon. Now, you can get sliced bacon here. I like to buy the block bacon. This way I can control how thick or how thin I really want it. And well, let's get cutting. And now all we have to do is fry it. So another component of this sandwich is ham. Now, of course we got bacon, but I'm just gonna use a normal sandwich ham. I'm just gonna throw it into the uh, frying pan and just heat it up just that much. All right, so I've taken the potato and I put it on some paper towel. You can use a cheesecloth or a towel and, and really get the water out. I'm just gonna try and press as much of the water out as I can. You really wanna get them as dry as possible. So after you've gotten all the water out, or as much as you can, let them sit into a strainer or colander, and you can see how dry they are already. Let them sit for about five more minutes, and they're ready to fry. Now I will be uh, using a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some sunflower oil, and 10 grams of butter. You want to turn that on to a medium to medium high heat. Get that oil nice. We're going to add the potatoes, cover it for five minutes, and don't touch it. You can hear that sizzle. It's time for the potatoes. Make sure you spread them out to an even level about you know, two to three centimeters. Let it cook and cover. So now it's time we're gonna make some uh, nice caramelized onions. You're gonna take an onion, cut it in half, and you want to make sure that the onions are not too thick and not too thin. I might for this recipe only use half an onion. I am making two sandwiches. You can, of course, use any other way of slicing that you want. Important part is that they are nice and thin. 
Now while those potatoes are cooking off to the left here, we're actually going to start frying up the onions to caramelize. A bit of olive oil, throw your onions in. You can hear that nice sizzle. Let them sit for a few minutes. Now of course we will be using an amazing ripe avocado. We all know how to open up an avocado. Look how yummy that is. Wow. Now with the avocado, you want to just make thin slices with your knife because that's what's going on the sandwich. All right, the hash browns look ready. And all you want to do is make sure that you uh, actually put them onto some paper towel to get the extra grease out. And we'll be ready to make the sandwich soon. Now, of course, I said earlier that I am using a shaku pan, which is a Japanese uh, milk bread. Um, basically, it is a nice square loaf. And I'm actually going to be using a bread cutter which uh, you can see here, you can either do it in thicknesses of eight, six, or five. Today I'm gonna to be using eight. So yeah, let's get a cotton. Now we all have certain French toast ingredients. Um, you know, some people put milk in with the egg, some people put cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, pepper, whatever you want. Today I'm going to keep it really simple because there are so many flavors going on. I want to treat, keep things as natural as possible. It's just going to be eggs, water, and a bit of salt. Oh yeah, and some butter. So now we're going to do a two-step process so that we can bring everything together. We're going to soak the uh, bread into the mixture and actually make the French toast. But also we're going to make the eggs all at the same time. So again, take your bread and really soak it into the uh, egg mixture. But not too much. Get rid of the excess to the other side. And let it sit for about 30 seconds. I'm going to go turn on my pan to a medium high heat. So finally, the eggs, the French toast, the bacon, the ham, the hash browns, everything is done. It's time to assemble.
And of course, after the maple syrup, we're going to add our hash browns to make it just that much better. All right, the final taste test. Let's check this out. I'm going to uh, try and cut it into a good looking piece here. Well, at least I'm going to try. Um, this is pretty much all your breakfast items in one. Some egg, some hash brown, a sandwich, ham, avocado, bacon. Check that out. Does that not look delicious? Oh, oh yeah. Mmm.